G'day team, today we'll be talking about the differences between the infantry set of 37 pattern webbing and the officer set of 37 pattern webbing. And first of all, this should be something that doesn't really need to be explained. You could obviously tell that they're different. But the idea for this video came in is that you know, I ordered some components of this. I actually ordered another infantry set to convert into an officer set. <clears throat> Sorry. And I was away when it happened and mum came in, put the box on my bed then left. Then this morning she asked me, oh, what was in the box? So I got out my office server. I mean, I said, oh, some components of this. And she said, oh, I saw that. I thought it was the same thing. So for people who are interested in history, this was obviously very different, as you can see. But for people who are interested in history, you may regard this as somewhat the same sort of thing. And keyword, it is not. These are two different things. So I've actually got the uh, field manual here. For the 37 pattern webbing, we'll go through the um the standard one. This is the one that's most commonly seen. Then we'll go to the officers one. So have a look at the field manual. This is the set with basic pouches for infantry. So that's the waist belt, the braces, one left, one right. Two basic pouches. Now the basic pouches can be called Bren pouches, universal pouches. But in the manual, they're basic pouches and should be referred to as such. The bayonet frog. That's, that's not to be confused with bayonet scabbard. They're all grouped in one, but this is just the webbing component of it. The water bottle carrier, also known as the canteen carrier, but again, water bottle. Have a sack and shoulder straps pair. So if we have a look at my example, for example, we have the waist belt or 37 pattern webbing belt. These are harder to come by. They're getting more expensive for originals anyway. I've started to see that originals are a bit more expensive than reproductions or reproductions are also a bit dear. That's a different topic. We have the two uh, basic pouches, so one there and one there. Again, this is used for, so I would actually be in there, and I think I've got you one of them. There would be uh, two Bren pouches in this one, for example. Not Bren pouches, sorry, Bren magazines for the Bren gun. I'll pull a photo of that up here. So speak of uh, rounds for the uh, Lee Enfield rifle. Following that, we have the two braces, one left, one right, and the they interchange here so you actually feed through. Uh, then we've got the canteen carrier. Uh, this just this is the skeleton one. This is the most common one, but towards the end of the wall you do see full canvas sort of ones, which are easy to get in and get out. However, this one has the canteen in it, for example, in rather poor condition. Then we have the bayonet frog, which is just the canvas bit here. This is the actual bayonet scabbard. I do have a reproduction bayonet, but just for the purpose of this video. Well, this is original, so I'm just going to show you all the components I have that are original. So yeah, if we look back on the field manual, we press, we practically got everything there. Waist belt, braces, pouches, frogs, all that sort of stuff. Now, as you can see, there are many different types of configurations for 37 pattern webbing. But we're going to be focusing on these two here. See, this is the set for officers, certain warrant officers and NCOs. This is for basic infantry. So we'll then go through now the officer set, talk about it, then we'll compare the two and the purposes of it. So here is the officer set. As you can see, first glance, very different. On the officer set, on the manual, it says it consists of a waist belt, braces, brace attachments, pistol case, ammunition pouch, binocular case, compass pouch, water bottle carrier, have a sack and shoulder straps. Now both of them say they have a sack. I actually have a have a sack, but for the basic webbing, we're gonna stick with this one. So first of all, same waist belt. This one's in slightly better condition. This one must have been blankoed at some stage. Uh, that one was not. Yeah, so we have our basic pouch. We then have the two braces, as mentioned. Let me just get the. Yep. So so far we've got the waist belt and braces. Now brace attachments. These are these things. If you see on the 37 pattern webbing basic pouches, they have them here. Whereas these ones, these are separate. So if I just flip this with the webbing over, see how it's got this interlocking section here? Then it comes up, it's got another little clip type thing there. Then it has the uh, actual bracing pouch there. So these are called utility, not utility, sorry. What am I saving? Brace attachments. These are brace attachments to connect the braces to the actual belt. That is also on this side, so if you flip it over, you can see the same thing there. Alright, so moving forward. So we've got the brace attachments, 
the braces and the brace attachments. Sorry, we've got the waist belt, brace attachments and uh, braces. So now, following down, it has the pistol case. Now, in modern terms, these are holsters or holders. Back in the back in the day, so to speak, they were called uh, cases. Now, in here, I have a 1911. This is very inaccurate. This is just to make it look like there's something in it. And Australian gun laws suck. For reenacting, anyway. So there, so that's the pistol case. On top of it, as we go, so it sort of has a little subsection. So pistol case, ammunition pouch. This one up here is an ammunition pouch. Now I've just got plastic bags making it look like it's a bit full. But that is exactly identical to this one. This one is also a pistol, uh, pistol case. Not pistol case, sorry, pistol ammunition case. Now, well, if you look on this one, skip down a bit, it says compass pocket. It should be a compass one, but however, compass pockets are very hard to find. And they're exactly the same as pistol cases. The only difference is, is that if I open it, see less plastic bands, this is dated 43, so both of them are. It would have felt lined on the inside. And it actually says in the manual, I'll put it up around now, that it is exactly the same. One is just lined with felt. Like, hang on. That's not going to do up for me. But if you look on the back, same clips. If you look on the back here, same clips. It's the exact same, just different purpose. And of course, one with felt. So if you saw previously on here, before we get to the com uh, compass pocket, it has a binocular case. This is this thing. Now this can is uh, seen a lot in pop culture, for example. Dad's Army, these are the two ammunition pouches that make up the uh, webbing. Dad's Army, and I'll put it on uh, right about now so you can just see what I'm looking at. If you look on the inside. This one's dated 1943. If you look on the inside, it's got some soft cushioning at the bottom for the binoculars. And it's actually got another layer underneath there. Now different to the canvas one, see how I can like, sort of crunch this one? This one is very hard because again, you gotta look after the binoculars. This has three layers of canvas. So one, two, three. This one's just one layer of canvas and it's also got a chemical in it that makes it a bit stiffer. And you'll find that they're often still very stiff after all this time. <clears throat> so then we go down to the water bottle carrier. This, the carrier itself is in worse condition than that one. However, the canteen in this one's much better. So again, it would have the haversack. The haversack's behind me, but for reasons I'm not gonna put on there just for the basic discussion. In this little section, I'd just like to show you how it's supposed to be worn as seen in the uh, drill manual, not drill manual, sorry, the pamphlet on 37 patent webbing. So here we see the two basic pouches at the front, off to the side, so to speak. Then we have flipped it around. We've got the, this one doesn't have the canteen, but it has the bayonet scabbard on the left-hand side. And then we have the officers set with the two pouches sticking out the front. And this is just a reverse view showing what it should look like from behind. Again, both of them are missing the canteen for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. But in period photos, you can see them wearing the uh, canteen. All right, so now we're going to directly compare the two. So first of all, things they have in common. They have the waist belt. They have the braces. They have the canteen. They have the canteen holder. Now, the reason why things are different is because there are different uses. The officer's role is generally to command a group. And they shouldn't necessarily always be fighting. Now, I've read somewhere, I can't remember where, but there was a quote from someone saying, if they ever need to use this, the enemy's gotten too close. So they would have a pistol pouch, a uh, pistol ammunition pouch for the pistol, binoculars so they can actually see, and compass so they can navigate. So again, the whole role of the officer is to be in charge, while the actual ironing, oh, oh, sorry, fighting force is using the actual thing. So we have bayonets for their rifles, ammunition pouches for the brain gun and the lay field. So sort of just a quick comparison as to the different uses. Like if you're in the infantry, you don't necessarily need a compass. That's more the officer's job to navigate, but like sometimes you can see them with it, but it's very, very rare. And this is based off the Australian. This is the by the book way. So that one, you don't really see many modifications with that one, maybe a few attachments like uh, wire cutters or that sort of stuff. However, with the officer's one, especially in the North African campaign, you see a lot of variations. Now you can see this part remain exactly the same, but sometimes occasionally you'll see the binoculars pouch further down or staying right here and then the compass pouch is next to it. So there are many variations in ways that this one can be worn. And I might actually make a separate video on that one. The only problem is, is why I'm hesitant about it is because I'm lazy and I don't have to take a part because it can be a pain in the ass. However, 
relatively the same sort of thing. So that pretty much wraps up this quick sort of video about the differences. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you uh, have any questions, please uh, leave them. If I can't answer them, I'll uh, send you to a few channels who might be able to. Um, again, that's the Australian field menu. Pretty much the same as the British one. Uh, leave a like, share the video if you want to. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. If you have any more video requests, uh, let me know and I'll get on to it. Cheers, gobblers.